Welcome to week four of Algebra One with Mrs. Weibark. This week we will continue to discuss linear equations in slope intercept form. We will be looking at how to write the equations of horizontal and vertical lines as well as lines that are parallel or perpendicular. This week we will be using the guided notes handout provided in class. It is a two-page handout labeled pages 67 and 68. During the video we are about to watch, some of the examples are done just to show you how to do the problems. I would like you to follow along and listen, but you do not need to write those examples down. Some of the examples are included in the guided notes and they are shown by the symbols shown here which looks like a circle over a triangle and they are numbered to help you follow along. Please fill in the blank along your notes as well as fill in the problems that show this symbol as you follow the video. The equation of a line is an equation using the variables x or y or both x and y. Every line you can graph has an equation. We're going to learn how to find the equation of a line just by knowing a few facts about the line. What facts would those be, Mr. Frogan? Well, for instance, you'll need to know the slope of the line. Oh yeah, I remember slope. It's the ratio of the rise to the run. That's right, Newt. But just knowing the slope isn't enough to write the equation of the line. After all, lots of lines have the same slope. All parallel lines have the same slope, and there are tons of lines parallel to any given line. Right, but what makes those lines different from each other? I've got it. The thing that makes two parallel lines different from one another is where they're located on the XY plane. I mean, if you graphed a bunch of parallel lines, some would be higher than others. It's all about, well, it's hard to explain. You've got the right idea, Roxy. One way to describe what makes two parallel lines different is to look at where each line crosses the y-axis. Remember that if you know the point of intersection, you know the y-intercept of a line. This is the first place in your notes to start filling in the blanks. So let me guess. We're going to use the slope and the y-intercept to write the equation of a line? Exactly, Roxy. Just as the slope and y-intercept are enough to describe what the line looks like in the plane, those two features are enough to allow us to find its equation, too. The equation of a line can take many forms. If you know the slope and y-intercept of a line, you can use the slope-intercept form to write its equation. I remember that. The slope-intercept form uses the slope and the y-intercept. Gee, I wonder how it got its name. Not hard to figure out, right, Roxy? I forget what the slope-intercept form looks like. The slope-intercept form is the general equation y is equal to mx plus b. The slope-intercept form is kind of like a template for writing the equation of a line. In the template, m is the line's slope, and b is its y-intercept. To write the equation of a line, just substitute its slope for m and its y-intercept for b. Let's try writing the equation of the line shown here. Remember that to write the equation of the line in the slope-intercept form, we need to determine its slope and its y-intercept. Well, I can tell by counting the rise and the run that the slope is 3 over 4, or 3 fourths. Great. So now we know m. Our equation is starting to take shape. Now let's find b, the y-intercept. Well, Mr. Frogan, I can see that the line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 3. So B is equal to 3. Excellent. 
The equation of the line is y is equal to 3 fourths x plus 3. Please take a moment to copy this line onto the coordinate plane provided in example 1 of your notes and pause the video to take a moment and figure out the equation of the line before moving on. We have to find the slope and the y-intercept. The y-intercept is negative 4 and the slope is 1 half. Now we can substitute the values of m and b into the slope-intercept equation. That makes the equation y equals 1 half x plus negative 4, or y equals 1 half x minus 4. You should now have page 1 of the guided notes completed. If you are missing any of the information, please take this time to fill it in. In question 2 of your guided notes, Write the equation of the line shown. Once again, please copy this line onto the coordinate plane provided with example 2 and pause the video while you take a moment to try to write the equation of the line yourself first. Tricky! This one crosses the y-axis at 0, 0. So b is going to be 0. And the slope of this line is negative 4 over 5, or negative 4 fifths. So m is negative 4 fifths. Making the equation of the line, y is equal to negative 4 fifths x plus 0. Do we need to say plus 0, Miss Flygel? Isn't it just as correct to say y equals negative 4 fifths x? Yes. The simplest form of the equation is y is equal to negative 4 fifths x. Adding zero doesn't change the value of the right side, so it isn't necessary to include it. Now let's write the equations of some more lines. This time we'll get the necessary information in writing instead of from a graph. Find the equation of the line with slope 5 and y-intercept of negative 2. Well, this is simple. If we're given the slope and the y-intercept, all we have to do is substitute the slope for m and the y-intercept for b into the slope-intercept form. Even Newt can do this right. Easy there, Lizzie. But you're right. It is pretty straightforward. If the slope is 5, that means m is equal to 5. And because the y-intercept is at negative 2, that means that b is negative 2. That makes the equation y is equal to 5x plus negative 2. Or y equals 5x minus 2. Correct. Next, let's look at how to write the equations of horizontal and vertical lines. Remember from our study of slope that the slope of a horizontal line is 0 and the slope of a vertical line is undefined. The equation of a horizontal line always takes the form y is equal to b, where b is the y-intercept. b is also the y-coordinate of every point on the line. What about vertical lines? The equation of a vertical line always takes the form x is equal to a, where a is the x-intercept. a is also the x-coordinate of every point on the line. Let's write the equation of the line described here. The slope is 0, so that makes this a horizontal line. And the equation of a horizontal line is y equals b. Because b represents the y-intercept, the equation of this line is y equals negative 6. Great work, guys. Let's try this line. What's the equation of the line that has an undefined slope and passes through the point, negative 1, 5. Because its slope is undefined, it must be a vertical line, so its equation will be x equals a. a is the x-coordinate of every point on the line, and the line contains the point negative 1, 5, so a must be equal to negative 1. 
The equation of the line is x equals negative 1. Great. Now it's time to practice writing the equations of some more lines. In question 3 of your guided notes, write the equation of the line with a slope of negative 5 sixths and a y-intercept of 4. Okay. The slope is m, and that's negative 5 sixths. The y-intercept is b, and that's 4. So the equation of the line is y is equal to negative 5 sixths x plus 4. In question 4 of your guided notes, write the equation of the line with an undefined slope that passes through the point negative 2, negative 4. Please pause the video for a moment while you write the equation of this line. Remember, when the slope is undefined, are you going to be writing an equation that starts with y equals or x equals? This line is vertical, and the equation of every vertical line is x equals a. We know negative 2, negative 4 lies on the line, and its x-coordinate is negative 2. So the equation of the line is x equals negative 2. In question 5 of your guided notes, write the equation of the line whose slope is 0 and which passes through the point 1, negative 9. The fact that the slope is 0 tells us that the line is horizontal. That means we're going to use the equation y equals b. To find b, I look at the y-coordinate of the given point, which is negative 9. Because b is negative 9, the equation of this line is y equals negative 9. Let's extend our study to include parallel and perpendicular lines. Remember from our study of slope that if two lines have the same slope, they are parallel. Let's use that fact to write the equation of a line. What is the equation of the line that is parallel to the line y is equal to negative 2x minus 2 and has a y-intercept of 5? Well, the slope of the given line is negative 2, and parallel lines have the same slope. So our line must have a slope of negative 2 as well. Good. Now, try to write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. m is negative 2. It's given that the y-intercept, or b, is 5. So the equation is y equals negative 2x plus 5. Great! Now let's look at perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines intersect to form right angles. If two non-vertical lines are perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals. What did you say, Mr. Frogan? The reciprocal of the number A over B is just B over A. Negative reciprocals are two numbers whose product is negative one. For example, the negative reciprocal of two-thirds is negative three-halves. If a line has a slope of two-thirds, then a line perpendicular to that line has a slope of negative three-halves. Let's find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to y is equal to 2x plus 6 and has a y-intercept of 3. The slope of the line given is 2. To find the slope of a line perpendicular to this line, we'll have to find the opposite reciprocal of 2. The reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. The opposite of that is negative 1 half. So the slope of our line is negative 1 half. And because the y-intercept is 3, the equation of the line is y is equal to negative one-half x plus three. Great! Now try some of these on your own. In question six of your guided notes, 
write the equation of the line that is parallel to y is equal to negative 4 sevenths x minus 2 and has a y-intercept of negative 3. Please pause the video and take a moment to figure out the equation of this line. Parallel lines have the same slope. Our line will have a slope of negative 4 sevenths. Substituting for m and b in the slope-intercept form gives the equation y is equal to negative 4 sevenths x minus 3. In question 7 of your guided notes, write the equation of the line that is perpendicular to y is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 5 and has a y-intercept of negative 2. Please pause and determine the equation of this line. To find the slope, we'll have to find the negative reciprocal of negative 3 fourths. The negative reciprocal of negative 3 fourths is positive 4 thirds. So the slope of our line is positive 4 thirds. Now we know everything we need to write the equation in slope-intercept form. The y-intercept is negative 2. The equation of our line is y is equal to 4 thirds x minus 2. Here are some important facts to remember. Parallel lines have the same slope. Non-vertical perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Horizontal lines have a slope of zero. And vertical lines have an undefined slope. You should now have the second page of notes complete. Thank you for watching this Weibark production.